We are back, and we are bringing in our Longhorns Insider. That's right, Sean Adams, and he has to weigh in on one where the Longhorns are going to go and also this college football playoff preview. So without further ado, Sean, welcome back to Laying Down the Law. What's up, man? I'm just listening to the doctor. <laughs> you know it. We hey. figured you like this one, man. Hey, hey, Sean, you know he bring you out. He bring you out, dog. <laughs> oh, that, that, that might be my walk-up music. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> hey, so you're on your way to the ring. <laughs> we want some effects, son. We want you right? to t- tell us who those top four, man. Who those top you know, four? Here's the hard part, because if, if I had to really put it together on who I think the best four teams is, I honestly, I like Ohio State, but I don't think they would be in my top four. I think TCU would be in my top four. I think they are a dangerous team. I think they're healthy. And if I have to, but I've always looked at my rankings very differently. I don't care if you went undefeated. I look at it from a standpoint of I'm a coach. I got to win one game to keep my job. Who do I least want to play in the whole country? That's my number one team. I don't care if they got two losses. So that's the way I've always looked at it. Here's, here's the bigger picture that I think everybody's got to settle in on and get their mind around, regardless of what happens. The Big 12, if they get shut out today with Baylor and TCU, they've got two things to think about. One, TCU and Baylor will probably get a dose of reality about where they matter in the national landscape. Two private church schools that are small and have small fan bases will be chosen, will, will, Ohio State will be chosen over them, who's got national cachet. There's no Woody Hayes in the lexicon of TCU and Baylor. So here's what it comes down to. Think about this for a second. If they get shut out today, change the uniform, change the sticker on the helmet, and ask yourself, would Texas or Oklahoma get shut out if they were 11-1? and one? And the answer is no, because exactly. they got national cachet, they got national pop. So that will kind of give everybody that conversation. The other thing the Big 12's got to think about for all that, you know, you've seen that commercial, that whole Michael Jackson video, don't matter if you're black or white, where they morph all the coaches in and out. Right. And then they ended by saying one true champion. Bob Bowlesby made a strategic error by saying we're going to present co-champions when the only thing you've been able to champion the whole time with no conference championship game is that you have one true champion. So now they probably need to go file the waiver and see if they can get a conference championship game so they can matter again. I, I, I really honestly think the Big 12 could get shut out today. And it'll be a shame because based on the football field, I think TCU should be in there. Absolutely. And uh, I couldn't agree with you more that there needs to be a Big 12 team. Sean, listen, you've outraced people to the finish line. you played football. you coached your sons, your kids, everybody. I, Head-to-head, why does that not matter with Baylor and TCU? Here's the whole thing for me, and it's a, it, it's a little bit of karma. And I don't even believe in karma because it takes forgiveness and grace out of discussion. But it is ironic, I guess I can use that word, that in 2008, because of Art Brow's disdain for Mac Brown, when it came down to Texas beating Oklahoma on the field, and then in the coaches' poll, Art Brow's, had Oklahoma number one and Texas number five to make sure Oklahoma won the tiebreaker so they would go over the team to beat them. And now that the shoe's on the other foot, boy, that joke is crying like a a hooker in church. (laughs) He is is crying Mm -hmm. like you can't believe. And, you know, it's ironic that that's going to happen. But I like head-to-head. I love it. But when it's six or seven weeks ago, thank you. I don't. I don't know that it means a whole lot to me. I want to know who's playing well right now. They knocked off and, a number and, nine, and, Sean. And, and, here, and here's the other deal for me. You don't think TCU You're would have beat me, that number nine? Yeah, but here's the deal. You telling me that if Texas didn't play, Texas would have a completely different record if they played. If, if they if they could play some of those early teams late. And here's the other deal. And I'm going to keep championing this one. If there's ever a debate about anything, they always look at who you beat. And if you're looking at who you beat and who you played, Baylor's got to do a better job of scheduling. Because if you look at – I had somebody hit me on email and say, Florida, Florida State, they play in a weak conference. They play in a horrible conference. Let me tell you who Florida State played in the non-conference. 
Oklahoma State, Florida, and Notre Dame. You know who Baylor plays? SMU, Northwestern State. Not Northwestern. I mean Northwestern State. Wichita and, Falls. <laughs> so, no, that's Midwestern and, State. And Buffalo. So if you're going to schedule like that, those are the problems you're going to have. If you don't have enough national cachet like Baylor and TCU don't, you got to go build it. Remember, Florida State used to be the one they teased about being an all-girls school, and in the 80s, Bobby Bowden took them on the road, and they played Nebraska on the road, UCLA on the road, Tennessee on the road. They didn't get that national cachet by just sitting down in Florida and playing nobody. But Baylor doesn't want to do that. And, and Art Brown backed himself into a corner when he said, if you go undefeated in the Big 12, we're going to win. Well, they lost one game, and now they're part of that debate. I think – I think this is going to end up being the conversation about everybody scheduling and why that matters, why head-to-head might matter less if you played six weeks ago. And here's the other deal, guys. I think the only thing we're going to get out of today is that you're going to have some people really, really mad because if I'm a Power 5 conference school like the Big 12 and my champion doesn't go to the conference to, to the playoffs, then what the hell am I in the Power 5 conferences for? What's my value? So in my mind, it's got to go to an 18 playoff where you take the five conference winners and you get three at-large berths. Yeah, at because, least. At least because there's five conferences. You, you got four spots. Sean, that was they, flawed from the beginning. Yeah, it was flawed. They set themselves up to fail with five power conferences and the playoff that's going to carry four. It, it's like telling me. Now, I, I don't want to get into – Eric Gardner and stuff, and Ferguson and stuff, it's like telling me I really, really, really matter. And then when the rubber hits the road, I really, really, really don't. You can't have five five conferences and four spots in the playoffs. You just right. can't. That's right. I, I, we absolutely agree on that. I said, you know, to make it to make it tough, I just said six. But I could deal with eight, you know, but not more than that. And then you just let them go. You know, and, and Sean, I'm thinking that they just figured when it, when it all came down to it, that one team would wash themselves out, and then it would be right. easy to determine that it's that it's four, and you, you know, and that's just taking away, you know, um, people's ability to compete and, and and to fight. It's like you're already saying that that's not going to happen, and that's why we're sitting in this situation when there's six teams that could that could go. And no matter who complains or bickers, at the end of the day, you could be satisfied with it. You could be satisfied right. if Baylor was in. You could be satisfied if TCU right. was in. And you, could, and you could be satisfied if if Ohio was was in. Right, because here's the deal. And I, I'll tell you, everybody has legitimate arguments. You're absolutely right. Because I look at Ohio State. I got a, I got somebody called a show I was on last night and said, Sean, man, I got to ask you, how do Ohio State got three quarterbacks and Texas ain't got one? Ooh. Because the problem becomes Ohio State did it with their <laughs> third quarterback, and look what they did to Wisconsin. I, I think what they've done and do, I do believe that Urban Meyer is one of the best <laughs> offensive minds breathing. But look at what they've done. I think that's <clears throat> phenomenal. And that's why Ohio State gets a lot of love for me. Bro, one, everybody's talking about this third-string quarterback as if the kid plays every position. He doesn't. Their defense came out and still balled and in, was in, in his credible. Yep. And 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 yep. that's a and that's a running conference as well. And and they and and, and and they run the ball good and they run the zone read well. You, you know, and, and, and with that, you're not asking him to do a lot. You're not asking yep. him to do a lot. Now could that same quarterback um transfer to, to, to Oregon and run that offense where they're throwing the ball a lot or, or TCU? You know, you know, or, his or, passing or, or, or game looked pretty good though. I mean, all things considered, the right. passing and, and, game looked pretty right. good. Right, and then you're judging off of one game. That's all you have. You know, we, 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 but, but still, but c- come on, Steve. Then one, judge one, off game one game makes game no will, champion. Well, one game makes no Should make nothing. a difference for Baylor. I agree with you, Sean, that this, uh, this is what my dad always said to me. And this is, you know, we're going to give the listeners a little lesson inside uh, of some ethnicity. My dad said to me, the same thing to make you laugh Make you cry. And right now, I think Art Browse, that's what's going to get Art Browse. I think with TCU, like you said, it's a beautiful school in Fort Worth, Texas. Where the heck is that? I know where the shoe is in Ohio State and merchandise sales and 60,000 uh, people almost in the school annually. This is a big 
business, and that's why the kids need more. It's selling newspapers. It's selling, it's selling newspapers, and it's getting a lot of airway the way that it's set up right now. Yep. But they're going to have to take a look at it after this year. But, but watch this. But watch this. We, we, can, we can say that, but it still doesn't work because Boise is not Oklahoma. But when they beat Oklahoma in a big game, they're still not a part of a conversation. So those things could still happen. TCU could still line up, go out, and, and beat those guys. And while we're sitting here comparing them, people still aren't going to give them the same respect as they're going to give Ohio. Right. They're not. Right. The, the problem is, for TCU and Baylor, they're going to go to great bowls. I mean, they won't end up in the playoff, but they'll end up in a BCS-level bowl. And that's great for them. The problem, if you're worried about the kids in the football is that they'll play in a great bowl, but they won't have a shot to play for it all. And that's the issue. That's right. We're talking with Sean Adams, our Longhorns insider, and also uh, he does a great job when it comes to college football as well. He's commentating uh, and giving his thoughts about the college football playoff to be decided here uh, in less than an hour. So, Sean, who do you have as your top four? And then where do the Longhorns go for their bowl game? Yeah, I'll start the, the second one first. I still believe – I. Man, the struggle is I believe they're going to go to Houston. Uh, if Baylor and with – you know, the thing that threw off everything was Oklahoma losing to Oklahoma State yesterday because that honestly hurt BYU and that, that honestly hurt Baylor and TCU as well because it took away a top 25 win because Oklahoma got knocked out of the pole. But now if they don't go to the, the playoff, it knocks everybody down a level. So I think it only solidifies that the University of Texas – will end up playing in Houston in the Texas Bowl, and they'll probably end up playing against the University of Arkansas or LSU. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. I think, I think that'll end up being the matchup. Ooh. We'll find out here pretty quick. And then my final four, I think Florida State's in. I think Alabama's in. I think Oregon's in. And I do believe that the committee is going to put Ohio State in as the fourth team. I think that's what it's leaning. I mean, because it's a big business. Um, Which I, is sad. Let's be honest about yes, that. Yes. Then what they almost did, what they did to TCU by making them third last week, should be deemed cruel and unusual punishment. You make them third, and then they go out and win by fifty, and then you bump them down to fifth or sixth. That that's something that Jeff Long and that committee's got to answer for. If mm-hmm, I'm no mm-hmm, forward. It's, no, it's no, it's no different than suspending me two games and then coming back and setting the rule and saying <laughs> that it's going to be six, then death penalty, and then you kick me out of the league indefinitely. It's, it's no different. That's true. It's no different. Boom shakalaka. Yep. Yep. Well, uh, how can we follow? We I, I know the Twitter <laughs> handles are going to be off the chain. Uh, this afternoon, I know you will be weighing in. You also have your show Monday through Friday on. AM 1300, The Zone in Austin, Texas, uh, 2 to 4, Monday through Friday in the afternoon. But how can we follow you today? Oh, man, I'm always on my Facebook page. Oh, y'all want to hear this? I'm always on my Facebook page at this Sean, T-H-I-S-E-A-N. And my Twitter is that Sean because I love hip-hop and you can get with this. this or you can, can get, get with that. that. <laughs> okay, Patsy. Look at you. I love it. Hey, Sean, have a great Sunday. Thank you, as always, for being a part of the show. And uh, we got you down for Alabama, Florida State, Oregon, and Ohio State in the first college cool. football playoff. I'm going to bump some black sheep. Y'all be cool. All right, hey, man. I hear that. Okay. Have a good one, brother. Take care. All right. We're going to take a sidebar and come back with our shout-outs right here on Lane Now Law. 